Okay, so I am about to do a thing to my peppers that will actually be good for them in the long run. It'll probably hurt my heart a little bit <laughs> right now, but we want to get as many peppers as possible. So I am going to go through here on some of my pepper plants and um, chop the little top off because it will encourage the plant to branch, therefore creating a bigger plant and more peppers in the long run. Um, not all of them, I don't think, are ready to do that. I think you want to leave two to three leaf sets, not including their first, um, like, succulent leaf. That's what the, when a seed sprouts, their first set of leaves is called the succulent leaves. And then these um, are the true leaves. So you want to try to leave two to three true leaf sets. So not all of these I can do it to. But we're going to come in here and just barely clip off the very top which will create a branch pretty low down on the plant and create more peppers so let's do this so i was only really able to do it to a couple of them i did it to this one and i did it to this one and this one and this one um these don't have really enough leaf sets for me to feel comfortable doing that so we'll see how that goes this <coughs> is the way there she we... is we're gonna get your leg in there a little yep. bit <laughs> so we've been planting tomatoes like this for a couple of years i mean like three at least right yep um so i've talked about my favorite kind of fertilizers before you got biolive and lime and the eggs so biolive has a lot of just like wonderful stuff in it the eggs are a trick that I learned from Jessica Sowards at Roots and Refuge. Um, there's something to do with the calcium because blossom end rot is a really common problem with tomatoes from a calcium deficiency. But if you don't add lime in, the plants don't have, they're not, they aren't able to uptake the calcium. They need the, the soil to be like some, somewhat balanced as far as the pH goes. That's where the lime comes into play so that the tomato is actually able to absorb all of the all the goodness from the egg. So we just take a little measuring cup and we're gonna throw in probably like a little more than a tablespoon of lime <coughs> and BioLive into each hole. Go. You know, BioLive is cool. Spencer used to, he's the one who turned me on to this from working on farms in Southern Oregon. It's got crustacean shells and all sorts of wonderful goodness in there. So then we throw the egg in. This hole needs to be a little bit deeper. We're gonna... And it's okay if it gets kind of mixed up in there. We throw the egg in and we're gonna just barely kind of crack it so that it gets started. And then we just throw the tomato in. This is a sweet 100. Ooh, these are gonna be yummy. And then we're just gonna backfill. And that will feed the tomato for at least a couple months. We probably won't need to fertilize until at least like probably late July, maybe even August. And tomatoes root systems are really forgiving. So they're one of those plants that you can kind of break up the root system as you put it in. Oh, those geese are so obnoxious. <laughs> um, yeah, there we go. But this is such a wonderful way to get your tomatoes off to a good start. Okay. The geese are super nosy. Like, what are you guys doing? Read on the back here, honey. You knocked over your water again. Oh, they're so stinking they dumb. Okay with I don't want to disturb it too much. Oh, I think it should be fine. They're, it's pretty hardy. So mom got these straight eight cucumbers. And all the other cucumber stuff I have is going to go from seed. So we're going to plant these in the raised beds because the, uh, the plan is to get cattle panel archways for these in between these two. So there'll be like two archways to walk through. And this just needs bio lip. Yeah, just put like about a tablespoon in there to give it a nice good start. You know what? You probably could throw some lime in there too. I don't think it would hurt them. I mean, it's just balancing the pH in the soil. So like, let's just give it a try. 
We'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, I'm so excited for cucumbers. Oh, I thought these would be good, you know? Oh yeah. Well, and they definitely will grow up over the, the archway. It's hard to find a, everything that we had at the greenhouse was pickling. Not that we shouldn't plant those, we should. I have some seeds for pickling stuff. That's what I was gonna plant, um, probably maybe on that side after I harvest those radishes out. Because once those radishes are done, that whole spot will be empty. And then the garlic too on that side, once the garlic's out, we can throw in some garlic seed. And then the other space that's empty, I wanna do cucamelons too, so I might throw in like a couple cucamelon seeds in between or something. Okay. So then the other one we're gonna do right yeah. there. No. no, in that one. Yeah, do it in the corner over there. Oh, look out. They're not gonna bite me, are you? Go on. No, they shouldn't. They're just obnoxious and loud. So this bed was the third bed that I planted full of garlic, but I didn't cover it. I put pallets over this one and over, I put something over that one, I don't remember what it was, but I put pallets over this to keep my cats from digging in it. And I didn't do it on this one, and you can see that the garlic is very sparse. A lot of it got um, like rotted or molded and didn't, and was like above the dirt for the winter and probably died. I think they want so, water, honey. Okay, I'll have Ireland come out, she's awake. Um, so, definitely if you have cats and you want to plant garlic, cover them really well so that your cats don't dig them up. Away. And here's all our little tomato babies and the fertilizer so you can see the label. These are my favorite. We've got a, several different kinds. We got a black crim and an old German. We did some yellow pears, some romas, um, sweet 100s. And look at all my chives that I thought were onions. Those are gonna go dormant here eventually because it's gonna get too hot for them. So we're just kind of letting them do their thing and then we're probably gonna transplant all those out so we have this extra space. Oh, and look, sorrel. I did not plant that in here. That must have gone to seed. Alrighty, a quick, successful planting session in the morning before it's gonna get really hot. We're already sweating. We got a ton of volunteer sunflowers in here and a bunch of cilantro. I just let my cilantro just explode everywhere and it comes up all over the place. Mom, I know how to spell puking. Oh. P-U-K-I-N-G. Beautiful. You can probably dig that hole with your hand, baby, if you need, if you want. That's okay. You use a shovel? Yeah. Okay, now that's mm. done. Yay, what birthday mint. All the way down in there to the level of the dirt. There you go. You don't want the rip ball sticking out. You want it to be all the way covered in. Kind of push it down in there just a little bit. There you go. Mom, just gently. Ah, he's doing it. Try to kind of, yeah, I guess that's fine. Because we're probably not going to stack them, I guess. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Muffy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you.
The view from up here is so great. I felt I must document. Well, here we are again in the garden, sitting in the dirt. Mom's over there carving out the edge and we're putting up some fencing around to keep kids and dogs out of the garden. Because last year we did not have two baby dogs to deal with or as many children. So now we got three kids under four years old <laughs> or four and under and two dogs that are less than a year old. So we got to do something to keep them out. So while she does that, I'm just pulling weeds and trying to find the plants that we're keeping because like we got some kales, kale, kale, kale. We got some Swiss chard looking like. I'm just getting out these big grasses. I did cut down the, like the seed heads on most of the tulips, but I left some because I thought that would be maybe a fun experiment to see what happens. Cause I read on the online, but there's just not a whole lot of information about what to do because we didn't harvest the tulips for bouquets, just a couple maybe, but um, we left them on the plants. So now there's like only one left right there. So I cut some off and left some, some of them are starting to dry out already. So I'm curious to see what tulip seeds look like. So tomorrow I'm gonna to come and clean all this up, honey. Just, okay. Mom, that's all the branches. We don't have much, but we can. Nana, now we can get it. We can always put the. Nana, now we can get the. Okay, yeah. honey. It doesn't have to look beautiful. The garden is what's gonna look beautiful, and no one's gonna notice that the fence is ugly. Well, and the thing <laughs> is, is that. Once we get there, I put them in the pot by mommy's raspberries, honey. <gasps> right there. Go add them to your collection. I should have Ireland get Maeve out. It'll be healthy. These ones? Gonna be here. I'll put them in the collection. I got with their eyes. We really need to plant the three sisters garden. Yeah, all I need is it to just be leveled out a little bit and then I can sit over there and do it with the kids and plant it. I don't think we really finished it. Because it's definitely sloping. These aren't very good. Oh, you're not taking pictures of us. Yeah, I am. It's a family affair. Now the garden is safe from the Mavis monster and bones. They won't be getting in here and puking and rolling around. Oh, she's self-conscious about how it looks. But we don't care, do we, Maeve? Because we're trying to keep the dogs out for now. Yeah, because good enough is perfect. And a fence is a fence is a fence. So the plants are safe. And hopefully by this weekend, I'm planting tomatoes in here. That's all it takes is a kid running. Keep racing, keep racing her. Go get her, go get him, Maeve. Get him. Get him, Maeve, get him. <laughs> she like jukes a bunch of different ways. She's so funny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> pretty funny. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Ow! Don't knock me over. Careful. Do you like my portal? Look how big this portal is. <laughs> Look, mommy can fiddle. Oh, now he's up. He's gonna mommy win. Mommy can fiddle for my head. Yeah, I see that. Stop Watch this. Okay. I'm gonna. He is a pig. <laughs> this slime is so sticky, I can make earrings. Mom, look, I can make earrings. Ah. Can we get drunk? 
drawing 